Hey guys, today in this video, we're going to be going over five tips on how to study for the civil FE exam. Before we get started, if you are looking for some tips and some strategies on how to pass your civil FE exam, look no further than this channel. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so that you know exactly when we post. And do not forget to check out some of the free resources listed down in the description box below. Now, the very first tip comes from a book that I highly, highly, highly suggest you read. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And we're specifically talking about chapter two, where it says, begin with the end in mind. Before you get started doing anything, Think about what you want the result to be. The FE exam makes it very, very clear for us what we need to be studying. We need to look at the specifications before we start. Now you can find these specifications in your NCEES reference handbook that is on the NCEES website. If you scroll down to the bottom, in the civil section, you will see a list of 18 different topics as uh, from the time of this video, it would be 18 different topics. And it lets you know how many questions will be on the exam and how long you have to take the exam. Tip number two is to get really familiar with your handbook and your calculator. Now I cannot stress this enough because on test day, what you do not want to do is end up not understanding where to go to solve certain problems on the exam. I'm specifically talking about formulas that are in your handbook that you have access to, that you will be given on the exam. You don't want to be fumbling during the test. You want to know where to go to find your formulas. And then with your calculator, now, my favorite one is the TI-36X Pro, link to the calculator down in the description box below. But on this calculator, it is very simple and it is also very powerful. And so if you key in the wrong things, you may get errors, you may get things that you know, you're not used to coming up and that's only because you have not practiced and you're not familiar with the calculator. So practice, practice, practice with your calculator, input numbers with your calculator, do tons of practice problems, do a practice test, like do a ton on your calculator so that when it's time to take the exam, there are no surprises. Tip number three is to get a good grasp on concepts that will be tested on the civil FE. When you understand concepts, you do not have to memorize solutions. So what does memorizing a solution look like? Well, sometimes when you do practice problems, you begin to see problems that are similar. So you will say, okay, if I'm given this type of problem, then I know to do this for step one, this for step two, this for step three, this for step four, and I'll get the answer that the question is asking. This is not the way to go about it. So on a test, they can ask one question in a hundred different ways. What I mean by this is, if there is a formula that you're supposed to be using, they may give you one variable and next for you to solve for a different variable or they may flip it around and give you a totally different variable and tell you to solve for something else. So you have to understand what information they give to you and what information that they're asking for. And from there, you can then use formulas to solve for the unknown. If you're looking to get a good grasp on concepts, as well as get a ton of practice and practice quizzes with clear solutions, feel free to check out a complete study guide that I have created. 
that is ultimately a self-study guide that will allow you to have all of the concepts mastered by the end of the guide. So if you want to check that out, be sure to do so by heading down to the description box below and looking for complete FE self-study guide. Tip number four on how to study for your civil FE is to do a ton of practice problems. And I know I have said this probably not once, but twice, but this is really, really important. You really want to be exposed to so many different problems to where you're not really thrown off, right? You master the concepts and the concepts will play off of each other. So no matter how many different ways they ask you to solve a problem, you know the concepts, so you will be able to get the right answer. And so the more practice that you do, the more confident that you will begin to get. Important that you do at least five practice problems for each subtopic. And hey, if you've made it this far in the video and you're enjoying this content, do not go anywhere because I have some bonuses at the end. All right, so tip number five do two practice exams yes two of them they should be the full five hours and 20 minute exams they should have 110 questions on each of the exams and you should not take multiple breaks you should in one sitting do a test just like it would be given to you on the actual exam day not saying you don't need to take a break in the actual exam date they actually do give you a 25 minute or so break in between the test so you can still do that but you want to take the full test in its entirety and then review your answers this is really going to help you because it's going to prepare you for the actual exam you're going to have the stamina to be able to sit down and concentrate for the entire time. The two practice tests will really identify what you struggle with and areas where you get tired or things that you may not have thought about, like having time constraints, like not being able to answer questions within the three to five minute range. So taking two full tests is gonna be crucial for you. Now, if you found this video helpful, I know that you would love the ebook that I just released. This ebook talks about how to pass your civil FE exam from three different stages before you actually take the test, during the test, and things on what you need to do even after the test. Most people just assume that once you take the test, it's all over, but it's not. For some people, they don't pass, so they have to go through all of this material and all this information over again, and that can be really discouraging. Something that I had to face, so I have written about that and how to go about handling that frustration. Or you may have passed the test and you think that you're done, but there are things like letters of recommendation and other important paperwork <laughs> that you will need to fill out in order to get that official EI behind your name. So feel free to check out that ebook using the links down in the description box below. So now that you have some tips on how to study for your civil FE exam, in the next video, we're gonna be talking about what the civil FE exam is like on test day. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and do not forget to check out some of those free resources linked down in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.